okay guys in this tutorial we will learn that how we can perform the amplitude modulation within the MATLAB 2015 version first of all I would like to tell you that MATLAB 2015 give us built-in function for amplitude modulation and that function is a mod which I just highlighted that is a a -M -O -D. in previous versions of MATLAB we have to do a lot of multiplication or uh, some convolution between the signals to get our results but now we are not going to do some type of complex coding we will just input some parameters and get our amplitude modulated signal so line by line we will do some sort of analysis and you must have to learn with me the first thing is fs or sampling frequency so what it is the very simple meaning here that is the first line of code is that fs is just a variable but we have given the name fs that is sampling frequency to that variable and 10 is stored inside this fs fs is just like a variable or some space memory space in which 10 is stored but for our convenience we have written fs that is the sampling frequency there are actually two things one is message signal and one is carrier signal Messy signal is the signal which contains some sort of information like if we speak this is a message signal and what about the carrier signal carrier signal is actually the signal on which message signal is delivered for communication especially long distance communication so fs that is sampling frequency and it is the sampling frequency of what sampling frequency of the message signal because message signal contains a lot of information and we need to take a lot of samples fs is 10 means in one second we use to read the signal values for 10 times that is fs equal to 10 means again i am repeating that that if if there is any sort of message signal then if if any signal is there it has some sort of values like 1 13 15 25 and then decrease down to 16 or anything then you should have to read the the values for at least 10 times within a single second and this is called as the sampling frequency then what is t here t is actually the time period but what it means in the second line of code that it starts from zero it ends at 100 and we have just given it like like as a vector it starts from zero and ends at 100 and one hour fs is actually the step size step size means if if it goes from 0 to 100 then then this is the difference between 0 and 1 then 1 and 2 then 2 and 3 and then 3 and 4 or like that okay just like if if it if 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 we jump from 0 to 1 then from 1 to 2 it means that there is a difference of 1 in each step so in this case it it, it is it is going from 0 to 100 but with the step size of 1 over fs then why why we have put a complement because we know that time period is actually the reciprocal of frequency so that is why we have put this 
what's called as the complement sign then we will come on the carrier signal frequency that is f carrier and we have just uh, make it like 0.5 uh, because we have to fs is much more F, fs needs to be much more as compared to fc this is also called as the nicos criteria that sampling frequency must be greater than the carrier frequency so you must have to uh, write some big number here and small number here okay now we will come towards the our what's called as the message signal message signal is actually nothing but a sine wave here uh, we know that it is sine theta but here we know that theta is equal to 2 pi cross t so 2 cross pi will be multiplied with this t and all the information then sorry the answer the answer will be inside this and then sign will be taken of this value and then all the values will be stored in x because t is not just a single number t is a series of values there are around 100 values are more than because step size is small then after you get your x that is the message signal then you need to put all the parameters or parse all the parameters in a mod function no need to go to the technicalities just give this x fc and fs to the a mod and a mod will do necessary operations to get amplitude modulated signal and what 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 will be done next that all the values the series of values will be find out by this a mod and it will store inside the y double then you can simply plot y double means that you are now able to plot y double so okay now now we can see that this is our amplitude modulated signal now we need to like change it to two uh, yeah now you can see that it is our amplitude modulated signal you can see that frequency is same but where there is some sort of information the information is stored in the in the in the change in amplitude just like if any any peak is representing any single thing the next peak is representing some other thing and like this and this all the peaks are actually representing the different things so information is stored in the amplitude and this whole thing is called as the amplitude modulation so this is a very simple description of the amplitude modulation so thanks for watching this video tutorial